Hey guys, Satish here. Today let's see how to install MQTT broker on a Windows system. So I'll be installing on my local PC. You can install it in on any server also. This Mosquito MQTT is an open source uh, MQTT broker. So you can easily uh, download it and use it. So once you go to this mosquito.org, you can go to downloads. So let's uh, use the Windows 64 bit. Let it download. Let me install this. Next. Okay, that took some time to install. Finish. So I think the service should have started automatically. You click on Windows and check out your services. Services. So if you go down, you should be able to see the Mosquito MQTT broker running. If not, it started. Let me start it. Yeah, it is running now. So we had earlier used a software called as uh, So MQTT box, MQTT box. So now uh, with this we are earlier connected to MQ, uh, the Mosquito server. So now let's connect it to our, uh, see this is uh, what we had connected to the Mosquito's uh, server. So let's start a new connection. Now it is running on my local PC. Either I can give my local IP address or I can just simply give a local host. Create MQTT client. So create new MQTT client. Kind PC MQTT TCP username and password. So when you when you have installed, we have not set any username and password, so it will be blank. So it will not be used. And uh, if you see my host, it will be let me connect to local host colon. I think the port is uh, 1886, 1883. That's a default for port for MQTT. Save. See, it has connected to the MQTT broker which is running here on our PC. So, this could be any uh, server. So, if it is another server which you have installed on, you have to come here and give your server address instead of local host. So, let me topic. Uh, topic. So you can publish on this topic and you have to be subscribed to the same topic to get the message. See, you are able to get this. Now we have got this to work, but this is a very not a safe way to do this because we have not yet set the username and password. Basically, if they have the server address, anybody can log in and use your MQTT broker service. So if you go to the settings here, we have not set any. If you go to settings here, you can see that we have not set any username and password. So for that, uh, what we have to do here is, uh, you have to go to C drive, program files and MQTT. You have to create a password file here. I will tell you the format. So, let me open up notepad. So, let, let me create a file on my desktop and uh, new test, text document. Let us name it password. And 
and here you have to specify the username and password username let me give it as es username password followed by semicolon colon and password password so the username should not contain this else it will break the username there the username password you can save it here so just copy this into the MQTT install directly just paste it here continue. Now let me go to the documents uh, MQTT page documents mosquito password. So I am going to use so now this password file by itself cannot be used we have to convert it into a hashed password that is what they call it. You convert or upgrade file path plain, with plain text into using hashed password. This is the first step of this we have to do. For that uh, open up your uh, command win prompt and run as an administrator because we are going to run it on the C drive. Huh. Okay. Mm, go to CD program files, CD mosquito here just paste the command you and your password file. So now if you open this file it will have converted your password into something else which they call it as a hashed password. Now this is step 1. Next what you have to do here is you have to open up the config file. Search for anonymous. So you have to make anonymous allow anonymous false so it will tell uh, you will not be and password file. So password file we have to give the full path so ours is c colon slash so let me come here just copy this let us password dot and let me save this. So if you come here you see that uh, it is still working. So even though I have done everything it is still working. The only thing that is left to do is you have to restart the service. Once you change the config file you have to restart the service. Go to services MQT broker let me restart it it has disconnected it seems to have connected back if you remember our username password it was es username es password save it is connected so now you have set up the uh, MQTT broker with username and password. So if you are uh, install this on, an, uh, on your server then you cannot uh, this will not work because you have to do one more thing the firewall will be pro blocking this port 1883. 1883. So instead of local host you can put your uh, local IP address also if it is your server it will be your server IP. So this float port you have to unblock in the inbound. So you have to go to firewall inbound rules new rule port next the port was 1883 3 next allow connection. name uh, MQTT finish. So this is one thing which you have to do if you are installing it on a server and you are trying to connect to that MQTT broker.